How's it going? This is OXDF, and I'm looking at Prest from Hack the Box slash UHC. This is the January Finals uh, challenge written by Ipsec. And uh, hopefully, this is going to be a short video, I might be jinxing myself, um, but I've just managed to get a web shell on the box, and I want to just write a quick script that will uh, allow me to enumerate the box without having to you know, look for the results in the page every time. So um, let's go ahead and jump in here. All right, so um, here at my VM, you know, you can see right here, um, I've got, this is the web post here. I've managed to edit it so that if I put a CMD equals ID in there, uh, you get, you know, the results out right there. So um, I've got command execution. So I can make that a little bigger. Um, and I've gotten literally as far as what happens if I do an LS minus L and I come down here and I get oh, like, that is a mess. So if I, open, you know, the next thing I could try is opening it up in the uh, view here to see the uh, source and it's a little bit better, but like, it's annoying to have to like come up here to Firefox, go to the end, change my command, refresh, scroll down to line 163, right? I just want to, I want to get all that. I just, that's, okay, we're going to get that out and we're just going to write a quick curl command that'll get it for us. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to keep, stop using the word quick because I'm trying not to jinx myself. Um, so we're going to curl. Let's start off just real simply, verifying that we can do this. Um, so we'll start with a simple ID. And you can see right here is the results. So we want to get between the like closed table and this paragraph paragraph. Um, and so let's see, this is something I have to like look up every time I do it. Um, I think awk actually is the best. Awk, get lines between patterns yeah we'll go with that I'll select lines between two pattern markers is this what i'm looking for oh, yeah, exactly. uh yeah yeah this is good this is the one so we're going to do something like this like this we will do that we'll pipe it into this awk now the first pattern we're looking for is to escape that closed table like that Flag one next, and the end pattern is P, escape that P like that. I think that looks good. Let's try. We did not. We did not like that. Oh, it would help if we. So for one, um, I'm gonna put a dash S here, and what that's gonna do is I don't want to get this like received garbage um, out of curl. So that's good. The other mistake we've quickly made is we didn't put awk here. Let's try that. Cool, so that works. Um, it got us, it looks like it's printing, go back up here. Uh, why should we make this bigger? Sorry. Um, there's these like empty lines here that I don't really want. Um, I wonder if we can get rid of those. Let's put a couple of those in. No, that makes us not match at all. Um, I, that's not surprising because awk is working off of like, awk works off of these like line by line and so the way this pattern i'm not even trying i'm not good enough at all to explain what's going on here but it's basically like looking for this table then it's setting a flag then it's going to the next thing where it's looking for this where it then sets the flag equals zero it eventually prints flag so it's operating line by line um my field separator here by default is the new line so i think that's why that's going to mess up um something i recently learned that you can do you know if you do head minus like head minus three it prints the top three lines um, but if you do head minus n of three, it'll print the bottom. It'll get rid of the, it'll print up at two, but not including the three. That didn't sound very, um, here we go. I'll print the first num lines instead of the first 10 with, uh, print, oh, oh, with leading minus print all but the last num lines of each file. So that's what we're getting here. Um, when we do, uh, dash n minus three, but we can do it this way too. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So we're saying get rid of, um, I guess I knew that. That's, so this is that felt complicated, but it's actually not. So if you can do like dash dash three, that's actually just shorthand for dash n three. And if you do dash, dash n minus three, you get the last, you get all but the last three. So anyway, so now we have a good looking thing. Um, let's try to make it a little bit more complicated. What, what other commands might we run? Uh, so we could do like an LS, it's good. Um, we could do a, ls minus l and that fails um let's see i bet it's a url encoding issue 
So if we do a plus here, that looks supportive. Um, okay, so two things. One I'm going to change right here. So first, um, I'm going to change this to I'm put it up front, make it easier to get to. I'm going to say data cmd equals ls minus l. I think that will URL encode it for me. Beautiful, that works. And it's nice and easy, I can get to it now. Um, so we have this other issue. What the heck is all these, uh, looks like URL or HTML entities. Um, I wonder if we can use recode here. Never had really great luck with this, but let's see. HTML to ASCII. I don't like that. What on earth is this character? Look at that. It even substituted into Google for me. It is the dash. Oh, okay. I see. So this is, this is, um, our, you know, not a directory read, write, not executable. And then this is read dash dash. And so when there's two dashes together, for some reason, WordPress is like interpreting that back as the, um, dash character out of, um, it's like the long dash when you combine two dashes. So that's not what we want. Um, we could, this is kind of ugly, but um, let's just do a said. We will boom, do 8211 dash, like that. And we'll replace that with two things. And we'll do that globally. And then we'll get rid of, still get rid of that. Ah, and there we go. That looks pretty. Um, let's see what else? Let's see, try a few other commands just to see if there's anything else we can do to break it. That looks reasonable. LS slash input. LA, that work okay? That works. Uh, ooh, 8.12, what is that? What, what do we think that is? Um, read, write, execute, it's probably three dashes in a row? I'm, I'm sure there's a better way to do this kind of uh, decoding, but we're just kind of hacking something together here, so we're going to go with uh, uh, that 82.12, semicolon, one, one, two, three, global, like that. Cool, that looks good. Um, any other commands we should check? Let's see. Uh, netstat minus NLP. Okay. Um, so that looks good. So basically what I'm doing, what I would do now is I would just grab this long thing. And I would just write vim uh, trigger uh, s, uh, web shell dot sh. And I'll say user bin, oh no, I'll say bin, I'm doing Python all of a sudden, bin bash. And I will say uh, curl like that, and we will replace. Uh, so in bash, if I want to use a variable, I got to put these in uh, double quotes, so it'll evaluate. And then I'll just come in here and dollar sign one it. And I'm not even going to put like a fancy line or anything. So now I can do web shell h and um, id and it gives me that ls minus l working directory sweet so now i can use basically for my terminal i can easily just give it commands and i can go start to explore this box it is weird it's not um it's not returning the minus l i just realized um i wonder if we need to put this all in quotes to make it one yeah, there we go. Okay. So really just when we do the um when we do the curl, it, since I'm using dollar sign one as the uh as what's being sent as the command, I need to make sure that this is all the first argument. Um so I'm going to do that. Uh, so I can do things like you know, slash, etc. Cool. All right. I'm gonna call it there. Thanks again for watching and uh thanks especially for sticking around till the end, and I'll talk to you next time. Oh.